Bruno Larita. So Bruno, while you are getting to stage, um, let me just tell you a bit about him and uh, his background. So Bruno is one of our industry-led teams. Um, his background is sales and marketing in, in, in vitro diagnostics, including eight years at BioRad. And he told me he wanted to make a real difference through a startup. So when I asked what was it like to be in class, he said, the experience was a bit of a roller coaster, the lows, starting with an idea and having to pivot because so many had this idea before you. And then switching to Zoom from the live class. The highs, finding a pattern through interviews and discovering an unsolved problem that can change people's life and develop into a business. And meeting so many amazing people in the class, mentors, entrepreneurs, and potential customers, all focused on one goal, helping people live a better life. So Bruno, please tell us what you're all about here. Can't hear you, you need to unmute. And it just while he's doing that, Bruno's recruited a team of three UCSF clinical people, um, which he was very pleased to find and uh, it's an awesome team. Okay, you're unmuted, you should be able to speak. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, but, but I can't see your slides yet. Are you sharing the screen? Uh, um, need to share screen. Share and good, we got it. It's uh, not my first slide, but I will start now. And uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for uh, attending this event. My name is Bruno Lorida, and we are uh, Image Now. So this is um, Murray, my cousin, and her two sons. Murray lost her life to breast cancer when she was 43, and this picture was taken when uh, she was undergoing chemotherapy. That unfortunately did not cure her. So she was initially misdiagnosed, and by the time she was diagnosed, uh, it was too late. So in the US, one in eight women will develop um, invasive breast cancer in their lifetime. And that's roughly the equivalent of the population of Florida. So mammography is key to uh, the diagnosis and the detection of breast cancer, but it's not 100% accurate. Out of 40 million mammograms performed each year, 50,000 women will be told that they have a negative result as they have breast cancer, and about 4 million women will be told that they have a positive result and they are actually healthy. So the uh, combined total cost of false uh, negative result and false positive result is estimated to be over $7 billion a year. And uh, the patients are not the only one affected. The uh, family and friends also go through a tremendous amount of stress. So uh, why is that? Well, one is the technology. Um, a mammogram is a low-dose X-ray uh, that allows a radiologist to look for changes in the breast tissues, but it's, it's very subjective. It's not easy to interpret. MRI could do much, a much better job, but it's also like 10 to 20 times more expensive. And reason number two is the lack of comparison images. As I mentioned earlier, uh, if, you, if you don't have a baseline, if you don't have those images, it's very difficult to, uh, to call a positive or a negative. So this is how medical records are transferred from one center to the other in the US today by fax, and medical images are uh, uh, burned onto a CD and given to patients or mailed to them. And this is what the radiologist that we interviewed said. Uh, one of the quotes that we see here is from a radiologist from Brigham and Women's Hospital. It highlights the, the frustration and the pain points that all the interviewees expressed. The CDs are crashing, etc. And so the 
in the middle of the year, uh, this would be really helpful is about image now, image now solution. So uh, what is the solution? ImageNow is a universal, secure, cloud-based platform that allows hospitals, clinics, and radiology group to access a patient's medical images. ImageNow reduces the false positive rate by allowing a radiologist to access all previous, uh, previous uh, comparative images from mammograms from anywhere and at any time. Artificial intelligence, um, uh, can help the early detection of breast cancer. So ImageNow is using its repository of images to implement and set up an artificial intelligence solution. So by implementing deep learning artificial intelligence trained with de-identify images in combination with our network of expert radiologists, we can also reduce the number of false negative results. So by cutting false positive results by 50% and false negative results by 25%, uh, we estimate that ImageNow could, uh, could basically save uh, about $3 billion a year and many lives. Out of $410 billion uh, spent on medical imaging, 10 are spent on mammography. So with 40 million mammograms a year, if we charge less than burning and mailing a CD to a hospital sending an image to another hospital, so let's say, for example, $3 per image, image now could generate up to $120 million a year. And so for market adoption, we will use the, um, the uh, viral acquisition Dropbox model. So how does it work? Basically, we will incentivize our uh, early adopters to register new customers when they receive a request to send or receive an image. In addition, we will partner with health insurance companies and patient advocacy group to further promote our solution. So we studied the landscape across uh, the competition landscape across seven axes. And what we found is that our competitors uh, focus on some, but not all of these. And so we have an opportunity to develop and present a solution, a hybridized solution that check all the boxes. In addition, ImageNow will be easier to deploy and more cost effective. And this will facilitate the penetration in hospitals and uh, imaging centers. So what do we need? Well, we divided um, the development in two phases. So milestone number one, we need 100 and $50,000 and six months to develop the um, minimum viable product, which is the uh, mammography image transfer and web viewer. And milestone number two, we need an additional $200,000 to develop the AI application. I'd like now to uh, introduce the, the ImageNow team. Um, uh, ImageNow has assembled uh, an amazing team of experts, medical experts and technology experts. So we have, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Sarah. Uh, Sarah is a UCSF and Stanford trained neurologist. And Shadi is a Yale, Harvard, and UCSF uh, cardiologist. And Tess is a UC incoming UCSF uh, ophthalmology resident. And finally, Kinef is a technology professional from Harvard. And I'm myself a 25 years medical diagnostics veteran. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank all of our mentors, Wan Wan Young, Robert Dickinson, uh, Gordon Murto for their time and their wisdom. And last but not least, I'd like to thank Stephanie Merce for her mentorship uh, and for creating and supporting this program. In conclusion, ImageNow is a cloud-based platform uh, with uh, AI capability that reduces uh, false positive results and false negative results, and ultimately reduce cost of imaging and improves life. I'd like to thank you very much for attending this presentation. Thank you, Bruno. Judges? Hey, Bruno. Um, you know, okay, one clarifying question. So it's effectively a cloud packs with MAMOCAD layered on top to a viewing system. 
Yes, yeah, so, so the, the first phase is one to allow the um, image exchange. So in between networks that don't communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. So for example, if a patient had uh, her first mammography in San Francisco and then moves to Florida, for example, uh, if she doesn't bring her CD or even if she brings her CDs, uh, most of the time they crash, then she'll be able to access or the, the new mammography center will be able to access those prior converted images. Right, so the, so the standard is DICOM, presumably, and it's a picture archiving communication system with interoperability across those? Yes, yes, and, and especially we want to be uh, vendor neutral as well, uh, which also allow, uh, no matter what the, uh, the format of the images um, are, uh, they will be able to be viewed uh, by the web viewer that we will develop. And this is Neil. Um, just to, uh, sorry, were you were you done, Francisco? Yep. Uh, just uh, uh, we've looked extensively at the space, and I think a couple other competitors you might be missing on your on your map. Uh, Nucleus Health, Microsoft has a solution. Braid.ai is another one recently funded by Lux that seems to kind of overlap with what you're doing. The specific question is a very competitive marketplace in terms of getting adoption by HC by healthcare systems. What is it that's unique about you that'll drive that adoption um, on the viewer side and on the data side faster than the others who have a head start from you? So we we believe that the, the adoption has not been very strong because in all the interviews that we had, uh, none of the uh, imaging centers had such tools except uh, Yale University. So we believe that uh, things are changing now one is the fact that um, we are not using fee per service anymore. So um, by having another type of reimbursement, people tend to adopt those kind of solutions where you have to do less and less imaging. So I think it was a question of timing. I think we arrive at the right time uh, to propose those kind of solutions. Okay, we need to stop here. So thank you, Bruno. Um, and let's bring Pam England and Nir One to the stage. And while she's doing that, I have to say Bruno was so dedicated to the, taking this class. He was always the first one in the room. Uh, sorry about the Zooms, but it, you know, yeah, I could just count on him being there and he asked great questions. So thank you for your participation, Bruno. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay.